Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the TJ Brutal Custom Springer on your VT600. So once you've gotten your wheel off your front end, we just took our front end off, you're going to get rid of your speedo hub and the spacer on either side of the wheel. Get rid of those. You will not need them. You're going to drift out the uh, stock bearings. Ours were pretty rusted in, so we had to smack them out with some authoritative force. And you're going to have this little thing which actuates your speedo. Um, with the Springer, you cannot put the speedo hub in yet. We are working on a kit that will allow you to still run a speedo, but for now, no speedo. So get rid of that stuff. You're going to have your stock spacer in there. It looks like that. Just pull that guy out too. In your kit, you're going to get two bearings that look like this. And you're going to pop these in to your wheel. Take this out of here, actually. Helps to have just a uh, socket. They actually make real tools for this, but this will work for our purposes right now. So get one of your bearings in first. Make this job a lot easier on yourself. You can actually put this stuff in the freezer. It'll shrink up a little bit. Same with the steering stem bearings or the neck bearings. Take the races, put them in the freezer overnight and they'll freeze and get smaller so they slip right into the neck real easily. There was no room in my freezer because it's just full of vodka. You take your wheel, flip it over, <clears throat> and your kit is going to come with some spacers. This is your new wheel spacer. Don't use your old one. It will not work. So the new one, get a little bit of grease, stick some grease in each end, and we're going to put it inside the wheel. A bit on the end of a screwdriver here. Kind of rub it around in there. A lot of parts on these bikes are going to be way easier to put together if you use anti-seize or lubricant, um, especially parts like axles. When you pull them apart, you'll find they do have a little bit of grease on them. And <clears throat> it really helps when you're reinstalling things. 
so they slide and don't grind. I mean, grinding it till you find it is a way of doing things, but not necessarily efficient. So now you're gonna take the longest spacer that comes in the uh, Springer kit and put it inside the wheel. Do not use your old spacer, it will not work. We're gonna put this bearing right in here. All right, bottomed out. Put your finger in there, you can kind of center that spacer up if you need to. Push it one way or another, get a uh, drift. You can move it so it's centered. Helps to take the wheel and tip it up. And you can actually see if there's an edge sticking up. If you center that real nice, it'll make installation of the axle much easier. Alrighty. So you take your little <clears throat> dust cover, push that back in. Go. All right, so now I'm gonna put this wheel in a vise. If you have a friend, somebody who actually likes to do chopper shit with you, uh, it's a lot easier if you have somebody helping you out sometimes. But for today, we'll use this handy dandy vintage vise that was made in the 30s and still works awesome. Let's get your tools out of the way. In preparation for the Springer. And put a towel down so you don't scratch your front end. I mean, unless you're really into that, do it in a gravel driveway. I'll scratch it up real quick. Rub it with broken glass. I mean, there's a hundred ways to do it, but uh, this is on a customer's bike, so I don't want to screw it up too badly. Springer. And if I have the brake facing me, that means the springs are going to be up because this is the left side of the bike. Your Springer kit will come with a nice axle. This is a three quarter inch axle. If you don't want to use your stock front end, this allows you to go pick up any Harley wheel with three quarter inch, uh, that'll accommodate a three quarter inch axle and you can put a Harley wheel on this Springer. You will probably need to get some different spacers, but that's pretty simple. <clears throat> so for now, this kit allows you to use your stock Honda Shadow front wheel off of VT600. We'll leave one of these on, okay. So we've got two other spacers here that we're gonna use next, a short and a long one. So these two spacers, you've got, this is two of three, we put the longest one inside the wheel the next longest one goes on the brake side of your wheel and the shortest one goes on the opposite side. All right, so in preparation for the next step, what I've done is put this spacer into this side, put this spacer in, pulled the springer over these and used a drift or just a piece of half inch round bar and pushed it through to keep everything together. So next you're gonna get your axle in starting from this side. Honestly, it doesn't matter which side you do it, but we're just gonna start from this side. It's easier for me to get to. So you can push that drift in. I need to move your uh, spring a little bit. Line those holes up as best you can. There we go. Pull this forward. Match up with that spacer there. Inside, good, good, good. All right. Going through real nice. See how drift's pushing out the other side. Sometimes you might want to move this around a little bit to kind of guide it through the hole. It's a pretty tight fit. So if you run into resistance, don't slam it with a hammer because then you'll screw up your threads or you'll mess up the bearing. Be gentle, loving. Treat her good, she'll treat you good. So just about out the other side here. Pull the springer towards me and up. There we go, slipping right through. Now, if you do need some assistance pushing it in, rubber mallet, just tippy tap, real gentle. Don't need a whole lot of pressure on it. So I'm gonna back this nut off. Get the axle about centered. Now when you're riding, this doesn't spin. 
it's the bearings on the inside that are rolling on the axle. So you tighten these down, you're good to go. Right. Alrighty. Finger tight on those, but you basically put your wheel on your Springer and you're ready to put it in your bike. Your Springer kit's gonna come with some real top quality roller bearings, like so. This race is gonna go in the bottom of your steering neck and it's gonna go into the bottom like so. So the flared side is pointing outward. <coughs> it's gonna have a little dust seal here. Put, first put that on the uh, steering stem and your bearing, bottom bearing is the big one. Goes on like that. So we've put our lower dust seal and bearing on the steering stem. Uh, it might be a little rough getting on there. Be gentle with it, take your time. Don't smack the crap out of these because if they break, you have to buy a new set. And that would be a bummer. Again, be gentle and love her. <clears throat> so now you have all these extra pieces here. You've got your top cap, your centering nut, and you have the top bearing. So now let's head over to the neck of the bike and install our bearing races. So next you're gonna install your bearing races in the neck. Um, I like to get a little hand pad, especially for bikes an older model, and clean out the seat where the race is gonna go, the walls, take away any corrosion, wipe out all the dust, clean it up, make sure there's no rust in there. It's gonna make your job a lot more difficult. And as I said before, you can stick these in the freezer overnight and they'll shrink up. I haven't had time to do that. So we're just gonna pop them in here. You can use a wood block, which is what I usually recommend. That way you won't damage the bearing race. Something like that. And we're gonna hammer it up inside there. So now we get the top. Again, these have to go the right way, otherwise you're gonna be screwed. So there's a flare on the inside here that goes this way to the top. <clears throat> That's gonna to be out, because the bearing is gonna go and sit inside of it. This is gonna be fun up here working with this tank. It's probably the cleanest towel in here. There we go. Same thing with the top race. All right, now we're gonna put the front end on, slip it in. So once you've raised your bike up <clears throat> enough to where you can slide this on, helps to have a friend, but uh, I've got this trusty lift here. So I'm gonna use the wheel chalk, which I've opened up a little bit, to stabilize the wheel while I'm sliding the steering stem in the steering neck. Right. Yeah, there you go. All right, so from there, Tighten up your wheel chalk, not in all the way, yes I know. I'm going to start lowering the front of the bike. Now the reason I do this is because there's not two people here. There's two people. Having someone hold this and put the wheel on, you can do that. I do this because you've got the vise holding the, holding the wheel, so getting the axle in is much quicker and easier. If you try and get the axle and everything in like afterward, it's way more difficult. There we go. It is. Takes a little wiggling. We pretty much have the full weight of the bike on the Springer now. Cool. So we'll lift it back up a tiny bit. Take the pressure off the springs. There we go. All right. Now you've got a top clamp. Top bearing. The dust seal. And your top nut. So this is just a centering nut. Make sure this thing stays centered on the actual steering stem. So next step is you're gonna take your bearing here. By the way, you wanna pack these with grease before you do all this. I already stuffed a bunch of grease in these. It's not a big deal to have it going everywhere. Make sure they're lubricated. If they're not, they're gonna rust out and it's gonna suck. So you're gonna drop this guy in. 
Move your steering stem. You may want to actually loosen your wheel here. So you can manipulate the front end to get the bearing in properly. Don't let it run away because there's nothing holding it in right now. There we go. So now we can tighten this back up. Got your dust seal right here. Dust seal goes on. Top clamp goes on. Eh, eh. Down there. There we go. So now what I like to do at this point is get your top nut. So now you're going to tighten down your top nut. Okay. Once that's fully tightened down, you're ready to go. You can add your choice of risers to the top <clears throat> of, the, uh, of the springer. Uh, making sure that those risers, wherever the hole is for the bars, that it clears your top nut. Now, if you have issues getting that steering stem centered on the top clamp, you can actually use your old bearing races. Remember we hammered those out in the beginning? You can use them, put them over the old race, and tap it in a circular motion to get that race to seat properly in case it like went in a little crooked. Same with the top side. <clears throat> you may to pry them out but they won't go in too far. Just use the, uh, the inner edge to push the new uh, race inside of the, the steering neck. And you have just installed a Springer front end. Party. <laughs>